to do my favorite daytime summer look and I absolutely love this look because it does use three cream eyeshadows that I'm obsessed with they are the, the color tattoo by Maybelline and this look is very easy so anyone can really do it and you don't even need brushes you can actually use your fingers and I'll explain that more throughout the video but I just also want to take this time to thank all my new subscribers I have officially reached over a hundred subscribers and I can't be any more happy so Please continue to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. I absolutely love doing this and I love doing it for you guys. So if you are interested in this look, please stay tuned. Okay, so to start off, I'm priming my face using Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Primer. And I'm just applying this all over my face so that my foundation can look a lot smoother. And for foundation, I'm using Maybelline's Dream Matte Mousse Foundation in the color Medium Light Beige. And I'm just blending this in with my MAC 188 brush. This is a heavier foundation, so make sure to blend it in well so your face looks flawless. Next, I'm going to get rid of those ugly dark circles under my eyes using MAC's Select Moisture Cover in NW20. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger because the heat helps it blend in better. So to ensure that my face doesn't look shiny throughout the day, I'm using Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Press Powder in the color Medium 40 to set my face. Then for my cheekbones, I'm using my favorite blush from MAC, Margin Frost. I'm using a MAC 168 angled brush. I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, but you can use your favorite eye primer instead. And I'm just going to blend this out with my ring finger. Using a shader brush, I'm going to take Maybelline's Color Tattoo in the color Barely Rounded and apply it all over my lip. If you don't have a shader brush, just use your fingers. Make sure to apply a good amount of Barely Branded so that when we add the second color, it really pops. Using a smudge brush or your fingers, apply Painted Purple by Maybelline's Color Tattoo to the outside corners of your eyes. Since this is a cream color, make sure to blend it in well to get the prettiest effect. Next, I'm taking Wet n Wild Idle Eyes Cream Shadow Pencil in the color Distress and applying it to my lower lash line. I really like this color because it's a teal, bluish, glittery color and it really makes your eyes stand out. Then with a skinny angled brush, I'm going to spread Distress all across the lower lash line. To define my eyes a little bit more, I'm going to take Mary Kay's black eyeliner and rim my tight line and waterline. Liquid eyeliner is optional, but 
If you want more drama in your makeup, I recommend using a liquid liner. So I'm just using Maybelline's Line Stiletto to line my upper lash line. To give your eyes more definition, you always want to make sure to curl your eyelashes. After you curl your eyelashes, make sure to apply your favorite mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Falsies Volume Express Flare. Using Anastasia's Brow Powder Duo, I'm going to use a small angled brush to fill in my eyebrows. And to get natural looking eyebrows, always make sure to brush them as you fill them in. Then, to ensure perfect eyebrows throughout the whole day, I'm going to take Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel and apply just a little bit. To tone down our bright eyes, I'm going to use a soft pink beige lipstick by MAC called Please Me. Please Me does have a matte finish, so I find that spreading it out with my finger helps the finished look. And there you guys have it, a perfect summer look. Thank you guys so much for watching.